everyone, bright blessings to you. I hope you guys are doing fabulous as always. Today we're going to be talking about flying ointment. There are two different types of flying ointment. One is psychoactive and one is non-psychoactive. I have only tried the non-psychoactive due to the psychoactive properties that are in the other. Okay, we're going to start with non because I've used it and I know that it's okay for me, myself, and I but I am encouraging you before you decide to use this please try it on a small patch of skin first wait 24 hours to make sure you have no adverse reactions because of allergens or whatever I want to keep you guys safe uh, with the non psychoactive there I'm gonna give you a quick little recipe that I found there are 60 different recipes for both and I'm gonna give you the herbs for each and you can decide to do what you will because you know it's fun but psych the non psychoactive is what I've used um, to start with the herbs that you use in a non psychoactive are mugwort parsley catnip uh, bay thyme valerian jasmine and rose oil and you take the herbs and the oil and then I highly recommend using vitamin E oil or vitamin E lotion and putting it in a double burner. Start with a small bit, no more than a baby food jar full because this stuff can go bad. Keep it no more than a week and you can't stay in the back of your refrigerator but the smaller you use the better off you are. You put all of it in a double burner and as it boils take it off the heat immediately and stir. Make sure you don't let it burn because it will stink very bad. And then pour it into the baby food jar. Please use caution, hot pads, tongs, whatever. I don't want you guys getting burned. Um, pour it in there and let it set. And it will set within, I think, last time I used it was about six hours. And take a small amount and put it on a little bit of skin. Sit and wait. Make sure you have no adverse reactions. And then you can plan your ritual with it. To use any of it, it is used in astral projection or astral travel. And you can form your circle, whatever you're going to use, and do that to astral travel. It's a lot of fun, and for people that are new to astral traveling, it can actually give you a little bit of a boost so that you can astral travel faster and easier but it's no match for experience, but it still does help. And also we're going to move to the non -psycho, to the psychoactive, excuse me. Psychoactive is anything from the nightshade family. Um, belladonna, foxglove, hemlock, mandrake, anything like that. And they even used marijuana at the time. And they would take uh, animal fats and they would put it in their big cauldron or their big pot and they would boil it and boil it and boil it and make sure it didn't stick because you know stink but <laughs> then they'd wait for it to cool and they would spread it from head to toe and lay on a, a rug or whatever in front of a fire and as their bodies heated up the psychoactive properties of the herbs would take effect and they would astral travel or trip in their heads and they would be able to fly so it's it's pretty cool I highly recommend you start doing research on it if you choose to um, most of the research that I have found and are tried with the non psychoactive has come from books the internet um, friends that have tried it uh, different coven members things like that um, but you know it's it's pretty cool one of the books that I have read was uh, drawing down the moon by Margaret Adler I highly recommend this book it's an older book but it's it's a really nice one and she talks about flying women in there but with most of this please do research before you decide to do anything as I've said they used it in astral travel and if you've ever astral traveled, you know what it is like to be in the astral and the different feelings you feel. Well, with the psychoactive, 
They believe that after a witch used it, she could, in fact, fly. The Puritan belief was after this was used um, during their sabbats, or sabbats, whatever you choose to call it, they would be able to fly, and you would be able to see the witches coming out of their houses. Now, it's not as widely used as it used to be, but some still choose to use it. As I said, I've always preferred the non-psychoactive, but it's up to you. But um, you use it during a Sabbath or to astral travel, and it's, it's actually a lot of fun because you get to learn about a new skill. And if you are a green witch or a hedge witch or a garden witch or a kitchen witch, you know, you know your herbs pretty well. So you can try this these different herbs and let me know how it goes. I always want to hear back from you guys and know if you had a good experience or if you had a bad experience, what experience you did have. Any of it is always very appreciative. So, as I say this, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, day, month, year, all of it, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bright blessings, and I can't wait to hear your responses. Bye.